Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it. Good problem number 790, domino and tromino tiling. So in this problem, we are given two types of tiles. One is a 2 is to 1 domino shape, another is a tromino shape. So basically, these are the two tiles, the shape of the two tiles. And what we need to do is we need to fill a board of 2 by N um and return the number of ways in which we could fill or we in on which uh, the number of ways in which we could tile the board the board of sides two by n and we are going to use this modulo operator since the number could be a very large number now we are given here an example on how we could tile this board so one way is to tile one um like one straight and then two horizontal or all of three vertical and two um, horizontal one vertical or the tromino tile and the tromino tile can also be arranged in like different ways by rotating them so now let's see how we could solve this problem so what if we have to um, the number of tile the value of n is equals to one that means we only have a board of 2 by 1 right so how can we fill this well we can fill that by only using a domino right a vertical placement of the domino what about if the number of uh, the value of n is equal to 2 in that case we'll have a square board with two uh, two rows and two columns so how can we fill this well basically we can fill uh, the first one by one vertical line the second one by another vertical line right but we could also fill this by uh, two horizontal dominoes so we could fill it by one um, two vertical dominoes and uh, two horizontal dominoes what about three in that case what we could do is we could fill with three vertical dominoes or we could fill it with um, two ver horizontal domino and one vertical domino or we could also fill it with one vertical domino two horizontal domino but we should not forget that we also have tromino as well right so we can also fill it with the tromino how let me just show you by drawing the board so this is a three by three board so how can we fit our tromino in this if i take a tromino so this would be one tromino then the other tromino that i can fit in is in this way right so this would be another tromino so what i have is these two trominos i can also fill um fill the tromino in another way as well so how can i fill the tromino again by rotating it so when i rotate the tromino um the next way i can fit in is in this way right so by rotating them i can fit in in this way so that would form a different um way so this is what we we got so far now what about if we need to fill uh the board with number of and the value of n equals to four so in that case let's save the pattern here so the pattern here is that um to form the value form the board for the for which the number of the value of n is equals to 3 what are we doing we are taking this value uh, we are taking the answer from 2 and then what are we doing we are adding a domino to it so that is what we get here right we are adding a domino to this and we found this value now what about this how did we get that so this we got from this one by adding two horizontal lines and what about this so basically this we've got from let's suppose we have n equals to zero then we got this from like we just basically add this for finding n equals to four uh what do we do now we do the same thing so to this whole thing here okay let me just change the color color to purple so to this whole thing here what am i gonna do is i'm gonna add a vertical domino and to the value of two i'm gonna add 
two horizontal so to the value of one what am i adding so this is not in one one only is this one right so to the value of one i'm adding the mm, the domino so in three what i did i added this domino right so i'm adding the domino these two things here these two trominos so now um this is what i get from here but also i'm also gonna add one more thing because for four if you look at four how would it be a tromino here okay so this would be one tromino and i can also fit in another tromino here okay let me just clear so it more visually clearly so if this is my board which is two by four two by four then how can i fit my trominos so one way is to fit in in this way another is to fit in this way and then fit a domino here and then what i can do is i can shift uh rotate this and then um fit a domino again to that one so that is what i'm getting from one and three right from three i'm adding the dominoes with a, a domino and a vertical line and i've rotated these two dominoes dominoes and then i add again a um, domino to it right and for one what i did um i actually shifted these dominoes and then added a domino to the beginning now let's see another way so another way is to use um so i'm going to fill this with this tromino here and then this tromino here now what do we have i have a gap with two cells right so how can i fill this i can fill this with the domino right similarly i can do this by rotating this tromino so uh, it would be something like this and then i'll have a gap which is filled which could be filled with a domino so that would again form uh, two cases right two different cases so what's happening is let's see now um what's happening is to find the value for n um i need n minus 1 value for n minus 1 plus value for n minus 2 because I'm adding n minus 1 plus n minus 2. And what about 1? From 1, I'm getting two different uh, uh, values, right? So, uh, there are two different ways again here. So, n minus 3. And then again, from 0 as well, it's the same thing, right? Two, uh, I get two different ways. So, I again add 2 times n minus 4. So it will keep on repeating for any values of n so now simplifying this what would we get we will get is 2 times n minus 1 plus n minus 3 so upon simplification we'll get this formula and we are going to use this formula to find the value of n so for that we, we are going to use dynamic programming method so now let's try to solve this problem so let um so what do we need we need to define the values for one two and three because that is what we are will be our base cases and then again we need a dynamic programming word dp map so this is map and then i set the values for one which is equals to one dp of two which is equals to two and dp of three which is equals to five right from from this solution we know that it is equals to five because dp of three we would get it from two which is two plus a one plus uh two from here right so which was equals to 2 equals to 5 right 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we get the value 5 now starting from i equals to 4 i is less than equals to n 
and i plus plus y n because we are starting from dp index zero so that is why we need to reach until n because that is where dp of n will hold our final value so now dp of i will be equals to two times dp of n minus one plus dp of n minus two n minus three and then what do we do is we return the dp of n now um let's see one more thing here so what do we have here is we need to uh, return modulo right so let's just define a constant variable and every time we find the value we are just gonna take the modulus and then finally return it so let's run our code and see if it's all right okay something is wrong here it's not a number okay we are actually taking the value i minus one because at for for index i we need i minus one and i minus three right let's submit it now Cool. So the time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is also O of 